Welcome once again to Breakfast Central. It's now time for us to go into the world of sports. And we have Oinye Obaro joining us. Good morning, Oinye. It's been a while. Good morning, Osa. Good morning, Olive. Yes, it's great to be back again to talk sports. All right, Oinye, what's happening in the world of sports? Good to see you. Good to see you too. In the world of sport, we we'll start off from the politics. We've been playing hands there. The Nigerian Football Federation Electoral Committee for 2022 has cleared a total of 11 persons to contest for the position of the Nigerian Football Federation president at the Federation's election scheduled for Friday, 30 September in Benin City. Top on the list will be current first vice president, Barista Sheya Kumi, the current second vice president, Madam Sheo Diko, the current chairman of chairman and Haji Ibrahim Musa Gusso, and the current member of board, Suleiman Yahaya Kwande, the immediate past secretary general, that barrister Musa Amadu, and the head of security safety of the Confederation of African Football, Dr. Christian Emirua. Moving away from that, we are so excited to see that even with the hold of football in England, the Champions League will return, of course, uh, having to see the big boys come back into action. Yes, Champions League returns for Tuesday with Robin, Robert Lewandowski. He returns to Bayern Munich with Barcelona being the obvious highlight a lot of fans will want to see. The European giants do battle on match day two where the Senegalese star Sergio Mane will face off with the former forward that he took up in also Bayern Munich there in the person of Robert Lewandowski. Barcelona travelled to Bavera in a match few would expect to be another final maybe for next year uh, in 2023 when we would have the Champions League final with Atletico Madrid also travelling to Germany to take on Bayern Leverkusen after Premier League football was suspended at the weekend as a mark of respect following the death of the Queen. Liverpool are back in action against Ajax and are seeking to respond to a defeat to Napoli last week. Mohamed Salah had a knife to forget in Naples as the Reds suffered a 4 1 loss and they need to show something different in Anfield tonight. While Tottenham Hotspur travelled to face Sports and CP, Ives Basuma's Champions League bow was nothing more than five minutes action. Force and the Mali International could make his full debut, Force trip to Sports and CP. Elsewhere, Inter Milan, Force would face off with Victoria Pleasant after both sides last had their opening fixture entering Frankfurt. Following the defeat to Sporting, they will travel to Marseille this time and the only remaining match of the day will be Porto against Club Brugge. Rafael Onyedika, Dennis Odoi, Kamel Sua, they ought to have respective showings for their club today for Club Brugge as they face up with Corsa Sporting there. But uh, we've got joining us to analyse and preview these matches for the Champions League was a Pan-African football commentator, Andrew Oyson, joining us all the way from the United States. Thank you so much, Andrew, for joining us today on the show. Pleasure to be here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Great to see that we have one juicy fixture to expect on the Champions League today for March Day 2. And that fixture would be between Bayern Munich against Barcelona. This is a battle between Sergio Mane and Robert Lewandowski. So, which side do you think would be on the more pressure? Bayern Munich having Sergio Mane, who has not recorded any goal in the Champions League this season. But... Also having Robert Lewandowski coming up from a hat-trick for Barcelona. Where do you think the pendulum will swing? Well, I think, I think Barcelona really doesn't have too much to lose here today. They've been flying high. The attack has been looking great. The defense has been looking more secure. Um, I think they're really going to come into this match pretty relaxed. Um, but, you know, determined to cause to get maybe even three points. Um, I think, you know, any result that isn't a loss will be a great result for Barcelona. Um, meanwhile, Bayern Munich have been struggling by their high lofty standards in the German Bundesliga. And I think a lot of pressure will be on them today to get the three points. Okay, Barcelona has not had a good time against um, Bayern Munich, uh, the German champions. But um, Julian side, he loves to go with spread the four there and not have a point man. But now he has to face up with his former point man in the person of Robert Lewandowski. How do you think he should approach this game against in Barcelona? Well, I think I think Bayern will, you know, they'll be looking to do their sort of high pressing under Nagelsmann. I think, um, honestly, I think Bayern will probably be a little more focused in this match. I think I would expect them to return back to form. Um, while people have been, you know, early to kind of jump on them for not being top of the Bundesliga at the moment, they have had their good moments so far this season. 
Um, and I think I think they will, you know, kind of get themselves back together. Um, and I think Bayern will likely come out with the three points. But, you know, you, you can't ever discount a great player coming back to face his former team. We see it so often where these players come back and perform. And I think, uh, you know, with a player like Lewandowski, he's definitely going to be very determined to get a goal or two for Barcelona today. It's going to be a very interesting matchup, I think. OK, Robert would like to make a mark against his former side, but pressured. Sergio Mane has not recorded a goal in the Champions League. Yes, he has been having a good showing at the Bundesliga, but he would like to make a mark since he's coming up against his former, uh, the former point man of Bayern Munich. But at this time, do you think Mane is under more pressure than even Robert Lewandowski? I think so. Yeah, very lofty expectations if you're Sergio Mane to fulfill. Um, he got off to a good start, you know, three goals in his first few games for Bayern, but um, the goals have been drying up a bit lately. So I think, you know, when we're seeing these two signings line up against each other um, for the first time, you know, I think the pressure will be as high as it's been so far this season for uh, Mane. So, um, but we found that he, he's a player who can thrive under these circumstances. And um, I think uh, I think we'll see uh, if Sadio has a couple tricks up his sleeve today. Okay, let's talk Liverpool right now. Liverpool had a bad day on match day one in the UEFA Champions League. Now, we've got um, Matt Salah not been able to find its feet so far in the season, even in the English Premier League. And this time, they would have to face off with Ajax. Ajax has got some Africans there in the persons of um, Barsi, Calvin Barsi, who assisted Mohamed Kudus having his first go there in the UEFA Champions League for some done in the black um, stats colour. But at this time, do you think would see a back-to-back-to-back -back 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 defeat for Liverpool or Ajax would be hoping to cause another damage this time to pick all three points? Well, I think um, we're definitely going to see Liverpool's depth stretched. Um, you know, no Andy Robertson. Um, their midfield has really been um, sort of shift and change for Jurgen Klopp. However, you know, if you want to look at history as a precedent, um, in 2020, when Liverpool faced Ajax in the group stage, um, Liverpool was similarly stretched in their squad, a lot of injuries, and they managed to come out with a 1-0 victory. Um, will we see that this time around? Um, well, I think, uh, you know, Liverpool still has some strong um, forces in their team. You know, Virgil van Dijk, um, you know, of course, I think... Uh, you know, it's it's going to be interesting to see if Mohamed Salah plays. You know, maybe this is a good opportunity for Klopp to rest him. Um, there's been some talk of that, you know, particularly with Darwin Nunez and um, some of their more, um, their other illustrious forwards um, in contention for playing time. Um, but, you know, I think I think Liverpool is going to get the job done at home. Um, I think they're, they'll be really well served by this brief little break, by not having to play over the weekend. Um, so it'll give them a little bit of an opportunity to regroup and they tend to deliver the goods at Anfield. So I think I'm going to give Liverpool the edge despite Ajax's excellent form so far. OK, in few seconds here, Sporting and um, Tottenham Hotspur, this is the first time that they are meeting. Yeah, and um, we know that Sporting has always lost. They've never won at home there. So would this be a easy not to crack for Tottenham Hotspur and Antonio Conte's charges there? I would expect I would expect Spurs to get the job done. Um, you know, similarly to Liverpool, I think uh, you know having a little bit of an extra break, a few days off, will help their cause. And Sporting have really not looked too competent for this level so far in the Champions League. So I would I would give the edge to Tottenham for sure. Okay, we wait and see. 19 minutes of action there. Plus for the UEFA Champions League returning for match day two. Thank you so much, Andrew Oyson, for joining us and your analysis. We we'll wait and see if the pendulum will swing as you was had predicted there. Thanks Thank for you so me. much. Thanks. So let's run through the fixtures for the match day two of the UEFA Champions League. We'll be seeing Sporting up against Tottenham Hotspur and the lights up from Liverpool will be taking on Ajax. Not forgetting the juicy fixture for the day that will be up against Bayern Munich against Barcelona. A return of the lights of Robert Lewandowski up against Sergio Mane. Sergio Mane replaced that point man there for Julian Nugget's man there. So we'll wait and see what he can do. Will he record his first go in the UEFA Champions League today? Let's wait. 90 minutes of action. We'll tell. For some sport update at this time.
Osa, Olive, back to you. All right, a very interesting lineup there. And the Champions League is fire, you know, this week. I'm looking forward to seeing how those games play out and seeing if Lewandowski will be able to score uh, against his former team. Let's see how it goes. I'm waiting for Sergio Mane. He must score tonight. That also, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Keep waiting and we will find out, of course, we have sports every day. So we will come back again to discuss and find out yes, if your waiting course. was in vain. Or, or like someone said, you're waiting, you don't want to wait in vain for their love. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on Yo Barry this morning on Breakfast Central.